resources to bring order back to our cities. What did he mean by at, the polls are so tight and they seem to be tightening? Sure. How are you feeling and how is President Trump feeling about the race? Yeah, so I, I talk to the president every day. Right now we feel very good. Um, right, right now we're feeling very, very good about where we are. We think we have the momentum. We think, frankly, even without the momentum, if the election were held today, we would win. The polls have always understated Donald Trump's level of support. And right now the polls will tell you, yes, it is tight. Uh, but right now, I think Donald Trump would win. And that's the public polls, again, that have historically really understated uh, President Trump's support. Look, I, I, I think that it's important for us to not take anything for granted. Maybe the polls are going to be wrong in, in the pro-Kamala Harris direction, right? And the only way for Republican voters, for all voters who want to bring common sense back to our country to ensure that Donald Trump gets elected is to make sure that we get out there and vote. You have to do everything you can. Get a, get a friend. Get a family member. Try to get 10 people to the polls to vote for Donald Trump because we really want to swamp this election with so many votes that we make sure that Donald Trump is the next president of the United States. I think that we're going to do that. I feel very good about it. And you know, one way to think about an election 21 days out is you just try to win every day. And in other words, you try to make sure that you're driving the narrative, that you're getting your message out there to the American people as much as possible. I, I saw today uh, actually a story that Kamala Harris apparently copied some significant chunks of her book from Wikipedia. So if you want a president with their own ideas, vote for Donald Trump. If you want a president who copies her own ideas from Wikipedia, vote for Kamala Sir, Harris.